Hi everyone, we're going to focus on the item type called drag and drop. As for the point value on star, it can either be graded as correct, incorrect, or partial credit. It is all dependent upon the question. In aware, you have three options of correct, incorrect, partial credit, and point per, per task. This item type is seen everywhere except for RLA. However, that is not to say that RLA cannot use drag and drop. You absolutely can. Take a look at a couple of examples. So this is from eighth grade social studies, eighth grade science, and then algebra one. Okay, let's jump into AWARE. We are going to click the button that says Interactive Item Types. And then we want to find the tile that says Drag and Drop. First, please make sure you set at least a primary standard. You can either scroll or use the filters at the top. Think about your scoring method and how you want to set this. And when you're comfortable, set a DOK level. All right, I'm going to add any directions for this question above this, this box right here that highlights when I hover over it. So I've got drag the name of the flower to the correct box. Not all answers will be used. Anything that I'm wanting to be part of my drag and drop question needs to be below this box that highlights when I hover over it. So I'm just going to type in a quick um, explanation of what I'm going to show. Okay, the table below shows pictures of Texas wildflowers. So I'm going to put my drag and drop question in as a table. So I'm going to come to this icon for a table and I'm going to set this up. Okay, as of right now, let's see here, I'm going to put pictures and then name. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste some pictures of some flowers in these top boxes. And just to show you, I've already found a website, so I'm going to right click, copy my image, and this first box I'm going to control V. Now you're going to need to edit this picture. If there's any alternative text, you're going to want to delete that. And then I'm going to go ahead and set the height so that it adjusts properly. And then I'm going to paste my other pictures in here that I want. Okay, I've got all of my images. I'd also like for these to be a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna right click in one of these boxes and go to my table properties. I'm gonna make this table a little bit wider. So these are things you can adjust as you're making your question. All right, that's perfect. I'm also gonna make sure everything is centered. There we go. Okay, so I'm actually wanting uh, the students to drag and drop names of the flowers, so I'm going to add a placeholder response in each one of these. Okay, so I've got that set. Then what I'm going to do is come down to the bottom right and click continue. This is where I'm going to put the name of these flowers. So I'm going to click this first placeholder item. It tells you the selected target. And I'm going to go ahead and name those. Okay, so I want you to notice in my question, I also put a statement of not all answers will be used. You can add possible answer choices. So I might want to add some possible answer choices like, I don't know, sunflower, um, 
maybe a rain lily. Maybe I'll add one more Mexican hat. All right, so then I want to make sure I shuffle them so that they're out of order. All right, once I have all of that done, I'm gonna come to the bottom right and click Create. And then of course, the last thing I wanna make sure I do is always preview this question so it is what you expect it to look like when students get it. 